You know, when I started um, making cauliflower recipes, I wasn't either looking at uh, writing a book or at uh, health per se. It was all about weight loss and I needed to cut back on carbs and I needed to find some way to introduce uh, something that resembled grain. For years I've tried to be on a low carb diet and I went on something called the Atkins diet many years ago and that's a diet that's filled with protein and meat and milk products, cheese and things like that which was fine for a while, I lost weight but I missed my carbs and there was no way to get back on carbs until I discovered that cauliflower could be used as a substitute for rice, for bread, for potato and a few other things and I'm not really sure how I chanced upon it um, probably seven, six or seven years ago but there it was and I made cauliflower rice and one thing led to another and now I don't eat rice ever. I've been very privileged to know Radha for decades now actually because when we were teenagers growing up in Bangalore, Radha was one of India's first rock stars and we as teenagers went there to watch this beautiful woman sing. To me Radha is the first and always an original. I had to be here to taste her cauliflower parapu, you know, it's sort of, I'm really looking forward to that. Well, I can say this, that the first time the cauliflower diet made a public appearance was at one of my parties where I had cooked many things and Radha came and upstaged everything with a cauliflower tai sadam. So I'll never forgive her for that. But since then it's acquired a life of its own and everybody is like talking about it, reading it and now cooking it and everybody is making cauliflower fried rice and cauliflower risotto. And uh, I must say, I'm, I, I have to say that I'm slightly jealous. So I've actually been doing this for, for many, many years as just using it as a substitute for rice, just the way she describes it. So when I first heard about the book, I downloaded it the day I heard, which is, I, must, I think it must have been the day it was released. It was absolutely delightful. Like today, we tasted some amazing recipes from there and it's, it's very, very nice. Uh, I know, you know, it's very rare to find something that combines something healthy with something tasty because those two are like complete uh, you know oxymorons they don't sit together so I'm but this is this works I mean I'm absolutely uh, I swear by it and it's wonderful to have so many recipes so I strongly recommend it to everybody. I wasn't planning on writing a book but uh, I had invited my agent Jaipriya home for a meal and just I cooked her a, a cauliflower meal she and her mother and her daughter and um, it was like a six course meal with dessert piesum and then I told her that it was cauliflower because they had no idea that that's what it was including pizza so then she says no no no, no you have to write a book because I had written two books before that and she had them published so then she shopped it I think the next day she sold it to Penguin so here I am actually Radha talked to us about a, a revolutionary way of cooking and she invited my mother, my daughter and me to, to lunch and she didn't tell us what it was. It was a complete surprise. So she'd made busy villa and veg them and pizzas for my daughter. And my daughter turned around and said, this is the best pizza I've ever eaten. It was amazing. It was just, I, and when she told me it was cauliflower, it was just like, wow. And I think it's also very trendy and people are very interested in, in not just eating something different, but also eating something that helps you lose weight in, in some sense. So the book was a very easy sell to Penguin. They've been very excited about it and the, the book set by the journey. You, you see it everywhere in every bookstore and airport and things like that. I've come partly for fun, partly because I'm a great admirer of Radha as a as a person, as a writer, as a singer. But whatever is on offer is fabulous. The mini hadas and the pizza is great. I'm looking forward to the evening. It's a great pleasure. It's very amazing that Radha has now brought out what started as a small idea and that she had us in a dining room tasting has now come out in a book so that the whole universe now has the information, okay? Uh, this is so unique and so amazing uh, that uh, we are truly blessed to have an alternative, especially as slightly portly gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my god, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm really looking forward to this book and I'm looking forward to all the things that we can do with colleagues. It was delicious and I think you can actually replace carbs the way Abhijit and Radha was saying, you know, in their talk uh, with, you know, cauliflower. It would be absolutely fantastic. 
it tasted really good whatever Abhijit did. So obviously, you know, I mean, Abhijit's a great chef. And if Radha's done the recipes right, then they've obviously matched it and made it fabulously. That was really, really nice. I think it's a wonderful book and revolutionary in many ways because I think that a humble cauliflower has been transformed into something that can, you know, change the world and the way that we eat. Uh, it's got an interesting twist to it and I think that there's a lot to discover about the book and the cauliflower. I have a website for the book. It's called thecauliflowerdiet.com and it's got all the feedback that I have had with the various media, the press, the press has written a lot about it and it gives you some information about the book. So that's thecauliflowerdiet.com. You should go out immediately. Actually, no, you shouldn't go out anywhere. You should switch on your computer or your phone and buy the book on Amazon. It's available on Amazon. It'll come straight to your doorstep. Just let your fingers do the walking.